Okay, Paul, so the latest is that Justin Trudeau and Kent Hare obviously spoke at some point today, and the end result is that Kent Hare is out of Cabinet pending the outcome of an investigation. We have two statements, one from the Prime Minister and one that was just handed from Kent Hare. I'm going to start with Justin Trudeau's. He says, harassment of any kind is unacceptable, and Canadians have a right to live and work in environments free from harassment. As a government, we take any allegation of misconduct extremely seriously, and we believe that it is important to support women who come forward with allegations, and that is exactly what our government will do. Today, I accepted the Honourable Kent Hare's resignation from Cabinet pending the outcome of this investigation. Now, his duties will be handled by Kirstie Duncan, who's also the Minister of Science. Now, this is a statement we've just received from Kent Hare. He says, the conversation our society is having is a very important one. I encourage all women who have felt uncomfortable or who have experienced harassment of any kind to continue to come forward. It is never okay. Throughout my career, I've always tried to conduct myself with respect towards others, and I understand the most important thing is how each individual feels. I have been informed that an investigation into these allegations has begun, and I welcome and respect this process. While this is ongoing, I have resigned from Cabinet pending the outcome of the investigation. I do not want to be a distraction to all the good work being done by our government. I will be staying on as Member of Parliament for Calgary Centre to continue working hard on behalf of my constituents. Harassment is never acceptable, and everyone deserves to have their voice heard. Well, the voice we've heard, and the voice that has caused this, is a, from a woman named Kristen Rayworth, who uh, made allegations against Kent Hare last night on Twitter outlining her experiences during the years that Kent Hare was a member of the Alberta legislature. I want to put those tweets up on the screen. Kristen Rayworth, we spoke with her today. This is what she said on Twitter. My first day working at the Alberta legislature, I was told to avoid being in an elevator with Kent Hare. He would make comments. He made verbally, sexually suggestive comments to all of us. And in an elevator with me and only me said, you're yummy. So when the Prime Minister was asked about this earlier today in Davos, Switzerland, he said this was something he took seriously. It's something he would need to speak to Kent Hare about. That conversation obviously happened. And, Paul, this is not the first conversation the Prime Minister or his office has had to have with Kent Hare in the past few months about his behavior. There was the meeting with thal thalidomide survivors that led to complaints about his behavior, with the wife of a veteran who says who had complaints about the way she was treated in a one-on-one -on -one encounter with Kent Hare when he was the Minister of Veterans Affairs, and even with a, a pregnant mother, a new mother in Calgary, who said she had an unpleasant run-in with him when talking about uh, maternity leave benefits. This, though, was an allegation of a sexual misconduct uh, nature with a prime minister who has been harsh on this in the past, who just during his visit to Davos endorsed the Me Too movement and the Time's Up movement, who calls himself and his government a feminist government. The end result of this is an investigation into Kent Hare, and he is out of cabinet while that investigation is happening. David, given all that you've just uh, reminded us about uh Kent Hare's track record, and given the extraordinary events of the last 24 hours, what leaps out at me from the Prime Minister's statement is the words leave of absence. During his leave of absence, his duties will be taken up by Kirsty Duncan. Is there any way to, uh, to see now whether that leave of absence is ever going to end? You know, your guess is as good as mine right now. These statements are literally minutes old, uh, and I guess it depends on the outcome of this. But, you know, the, the bias has been, or the instinct has been, to believe the women who make these claims. And that certainly, they appear to be taking this seriously. They did, uh, as I said, someone in the Prime Minister's office reached out to Christian Rayworth at a certain point today, and they have taken this seriously. And, Paul, I want to, you know, this is... Patrick Brown, Jamie Bailey, and now Kent Hare have dominated the headlines uh, of, of the past 24 hours or so, but... They've been dealing with this a lot in Justin Trudeau's office. And I want to walk you through this, because this is the sixth incident of an allegation against a liberal since Trudeau has been leader involving inappropriate behavior involving women. And it's been in his office, in his cabinet, and in his caucus. I want to start with his office. Right now, Claude Eric Gagné, who is the deputy director of operations, he is on leave pending an investigation into allegations of inappropriate behavior, which is what we've reported. Our colleagues at TVA say it's inappropriate behavior involving multiple women. You move into the cabinet. We now have Kent Hare. He has resigned, taken a leave of absence pending this investigation. Well, before that, it was Hunter Tutu, who resigned from Cabinet and Caucus, now sits as an independent after he had an inappropriate relationship with a political staffer. And then you move into the Caucus. Just last summer, Darshan Kang, a Calgary MP, accused of sexual harassment uh, by his, uh, members of his constituency staff. And going back to his time as a member of the Alberta legislature, he resigned from Caucus and is now on medical leave. And going back several years, 
There were two MPs when Trudeau was the leader of the third party, Scott Andrews, a Newfoundland MP, and Massimo Pichetti, a Quebec MP. Both of them booted out of caucus after an investigation concluded that they, uh, an investigation was done into allegations of sexual misconduct involving them and female NDP MPs. So this has been a recurring topic and a recurring political problem that Justin Trudeau and his staff have had to deal with. Kent Hare is just the latest in what has been a string of six public high-profile incidents going back to 2014. Thanks for filling us in on all of that uh, background and all of the news. David Cochran uh, here in Ottawa.